Alright, this one's going to be on DARS. Um, we should not be confused with DIR. If you go like DIR, you know, just list out your stuff. This one's called DIRS. And basically, what this is, is kind of like a history container for, um, you know, all the path that you've been to. So, let's say, for example, if I go to my um, download folder, if I spell that right, downloads, right? And. Um, Let's say I go to um, what else is there? Uh, maybe my documents, the hell, documents, and maybe just go to pictures or something. Um, and let's go one more. Let's go to um, scripts, right? So we've been to like different folders, and now we go back to the home folder here. And if we run that command again, dirs, uh, you can see that it lists out, you know, the path that we've been to. So it goes like this: this is zero, one, two, three, four, right? Although if you look like this, it's not gonna, you know, do anything. If you want to do more visually for humans, you go dirs um, dash, and they have like different ones. You know, one is to clear it if you want to clear it. Uh, the other one is the the V here, the dash V, and basically this one will list it out in the order you know what we want. So they have like zero, one, two, three, four, blah blah blah. And when you press that number, okay, you go to that folder. So let's say we go to number one. So you press in one, you jump right into that folder, uh, and it rechanges itself. So it's not like in the same order as always. I'm not sure why they do that, but you know if you go back again your script folder is now number zero okay and number one is your home folder with the squeaky line so if you want to jump to like number three or something you go three and so on and so forth you go uh... not zero i mean let's say one or something scripts two three and you know jumping back and forth like that real quick with the dars uh... command and just put in the number and that's built into your um, shell, okay? So use that if you want to jump back and forth between all the folders that you've opened. It only works when uh, you know the folder that you've been to uh, within that current session. You can't really start a new terminal and then um, you know use what you have. If you want to do that, you probably want to use like a, a program like Auto Jump, which is uh, I told you about that last time already. Anyways, uh, this one is built in. You don't have to do anything. Just use it if you want. So that'll be it for this one.